also practicing foot because I'm so bad at it, LMAO. Yeah, look at that left cheek, right cheek action with the big crack in the middle. She, are you serious? She looks like a mantis. All right, what's up guys? You know the drill. I asked you guys on Instagram to put your work into the hashtag SamRoastMe13 and we have 11.3 thousand entries. A round of applause to you guys, all of you who put your work into here. But with that being said, let's find some victims. But before we go any further guys, this video is brought to you by Manscaped. <laughs> the shirt makes me look huge. For those of you guys who don't know, Manscaped is a global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. They were really cool to actually hook me up with one of these performance package 4.0s. The first thing to highlight in this kit is the Lawn Mower 4.0 body trimmer. This is their fourth generation electric waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology which reduces nicks and cuts on the most sensitive regions of the body. It has a really smart cordless charging system and these LED lights on the front show you how much power you have left. You can tap the button on the front three times to enable the travel lock feature. Also included in the Performance Package 4.0 are the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. These names are so funny to me. And these guys literally have you covered head to toe. This is their Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. It's a wireless nose trimmer with the same skin safe technology so you don't have to worry about tugging or cutting on those sensitive nose hairs. So for those of you guys who got nose hair sticking out everywhere, I'm looking at you. This is for you. For a limited time, you get all of this plus two free gifts, the Shed travel bag and a Manscaped boxer. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping along with two free gifts if you use the code SAMDOESARTS. Shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Uh, mom, I made it. Uh, anyways, back to the, the, the roasting. <laughs> all right, we're gonna start off strong. Look at this beautiful anime boy, but uh, you, you broke his wrist. Look, if you're watching this right now, grab your pen, follow me. Look, straight line, straight line. It's not that hard. Oh guys, look at this one. This is the epitome of subtlety. So subtle. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. This is a pretty good face rendering. I mean, like the skin texture, the color is very strong here, but we're, we're gonna pan up. It doesn't end, dude. It literally does not end. Why? Anyways, I'm sure this is a character from an anime before you guys go in the comments and say, Sam, you don't know who that is? I love this. I love your stylization and your, um, the lighting here looks so good and the colors are so vibrant. Commission, do not use. I mean, what do you expect people to use this image for? What are they gonna use? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Tram Ch Desserts? Are you serious? This is the epitome of when you copy someone's assignment and you have to change it up just a little bit to make it look different. Tram does arts. Now, before I destroy you, I wanna say you have beautiful rendering. I love your colors, but uh, can somebody tell me why his wrist is broken? Okay, look, I know I've kind of made it my life's mission to tell people about the cranium. Um, and it seems like you've made it your life's mission to uh, base your entire art style on not having the cranium. It seems to be working, so I guess, uh, good good job. You keep that up, I'll find you one day. All right, this is kind of disturbing. Speaking of not having a cranium, you literally went ahead and chopped off half his head. Just look at the sadness in his eyes. Look, I don't know what inspired you to do this. Wax must flamen or white chin. Okay, that makes sense. Listen here, I must say, I love your shape language, but uh, I want you to try something, okay? Just literally just take the same drawing, remove the collar and the clothing, and I want you to take another look at her neck. That That's a giraffe. Good Lord, why do they do that? All right, me and you, we gotta have a real talk. Do you see this happening in, in real life? Like, do you see them hanging out so far that the clothing folds under them? Dude, I don't think so. You thirsty individuals. All right, so I think what would benefit you is if you uh, just take this canvas and quickly flip it horizontally so that you can see the unevenness of the face. It's beautiful and painterly, but this side of your character's face is much larger than this side of your character's face. I mean, literally, I'm gonna crop it like this. Look at this, okay? This side of the face versus this side of the face. This side, malnourished. This side, is okay. This looks like shoulder goals. That looks so good. POV, this is you in your classroom and your crush is looking over at you. Oh, wait a minute. That would never happen to you. <laughs> Guys, it's not easy being this funny. Okay, you know what? It looks like she's trying to be seductive, but um, you know, I think I would be a little bit more attracted to her if her fingers had joints in them. Please. Bro, these eyes, these eyes. You cannot tell me that you were looking at this drawing and you thought this was a good idea. You cannot, you cannot possibly tell me that you. <laughs> 
Somebody collect this man. This is so rude. Oh my God, look at him. He's broken. Not as broken as her back though. <laughs> I like the rendering, but something about her, it looks like she has no thoughts behind her eyes. Is she looking at this speck of dust? Look, she's probably like, oh, what a tiny speck of dust. And the dust is like, oh, still bigger than your brain. For the boomers in my audience, like I'm sure you guys remember this when Lego did uh, these things. They were so cool. Lego, bring these back. Please. Oh, how wonderful. Guys, I'm sure this is all something we can relate to. Uh, you draw one eye and you're like, man, that looks so good. And then you move to the other side and you're like, do I want to risk it? Do I really want to risk it? So you just cover it up with a clock. I'm sure we, we've all done this. What is this? What's going on here? This is not a drawing. That's not a drawing. That's a picture of me after one of these videos. Oh, it's a mermaid. I, I actually forgot it was mermaid. I'm surprised how few people uh, seem to be doing it this year. That's good. Let's hope this trend dies down for good. Hmm. Um, practicing a perspective pose and it turned out to be good. Yeah, I'm sure that was the, the goal of your practice. Also practicing foot, because I'm so bad at it, LMAO. Yeah, I'm sure this is just practice. I'm sure you don't find any other kind of enjoyment out of doing this. The size of your iris is you. She, are you serious? She looks like a mantis. Cool storytelling. I'm curious to know about this world, but uh, her head is kind of small compared to the size of her body. Guys, please. Guys, I know we talk about the cranium, but please give your characters adequate sized heads. Okay, do you see what I see? Cool drawing, nice pose, cool character, uh, but he, why does he have a butt on his chest? Look at that left cheek, right cheek action with the big crack in the middle. Okay. Come on now, pecs don't look like that. Guys, please repeat after me. No butt on character chest. Okay, uh, he looks like he's he's kind of enjoying himself a little bit too much there. I wonder what's going on underneath that frame and I, re I really don't want to find out. Why would she be picking her nose with ice cream? Why would you be doing this? Why? I'm literally this close from a mental breakdown. Not only is she uh, sticking ice cream up her nose, but ice cream is soft so it wouldn't be able to stick up her nose that far. But also her hairline is receding backwards. She's like a balding at the age of five. This looks so good. I love the Nemo pattern on her and the uh, clear little things that they, they swim in, they, they go like that's that's haunted. That's haunted. Keep that away from me. Look, I don't know why, but I feel like Sam Roast Me 13 has just been a bunch of really, really thirsty uh, drawings. And these drawings seem to focus on the thirsty parts, but nothing else. I mean, look at this hand. What is happening? Please, look, if you have trouble drawing hands, uh, do the same pose that you want for your character, okay? Do this and look at yourself in the mirror or get a picture in the mirror and use that as a reference. And also her face is so shrunken, it's so small, she has no chin. I mean, simply compare her face with the size of her head and the size of her body. It doesn't really match up. You need consistency. Get it together. Listen, I do not want to see this ever again. Don't you ever subjugate. Oh, you see, what is he doing? Is he about, is he about to teabag me? Look, it, here's what I want you to do, okay? I want you to take your drawing tablet, your iPad, whatever it is that you draw on, okay? I want you to walk out of your house, go to your car, drive somewhere far away, find a nice little plot of land, okay? I want you to dig a hole, put your tablet there and bury it and then drive back. Hey guys, look at this cute drawing of a fox. But the fox looks a little bit scared. I wonder why. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you know, it's like the blend of uh, hyper-realistic kind of textures along with extremely, extremely stylized proportions that just make this kind of uncanny and creepy looking. Uh, okay, all right, I mean, this video, I guess it does have a theme. It's, it's like, don't you feel like these guys stick out a little bit far? Like. <laughs> Of course. I mean, the rendering here is great. I love how realistic it looks. The lighting falls on the skin so perfectly. Um, but you you just phoned it in for the top. What's happening? <laughs> Look, guys, it's okay to have the thirst, but you can't let the thirst control you. You must control your thirst. This is like an anime storyline, but, but I can't control my thirst. You must harness the power. Oh my God. You, I mean, right after I give you guys that heartfelt speech, I see something like this. This is just, this is not good for the longevity of my physical form. I don't think you meant to make her look transparent, but she kind of does. Um, she kind of looks like a ghost, but you know, it, it's all right. She's a, she's a pretty ghost. I'd, I'd say hello. I'd be like, hey, yo, what's good? Want to haunt me later? Oh, wow. Yeah, you're missing something. You're missing something. By the way, I can definitely draw a nose just didn't feel like it oh yeah i'm sure you can i'm sure you can just you just wait till i find you sheesh what a baddie look at the 
meet my friend Jumbo. Oh yeah, I like Jumbo. Jumbo be thick. It almost looks like there's like something, like a magnetic uh, gravitational force here that's pulling her face out of her head. Now the easy fix for this is you take your liquify, you make it real big, you cover her entire face, and you just push it back in. But you listen to me. I'm not always gonna be here to help you. So the next time you draw something like that, don't make the same mistake. Oh my God, what a cute little guy. Look at him, oh. POV, this is your last two remaining brain cells during your final exam. <laughs> Good, go gorgeous, gorgeous, good job, well done. This is a modern day masterpiece. Truly, truly well done. The chest hair is just mwah, immaculate. I saw Sam's story and realized that if I don't make an art quickly, I won't have a chance of being in Sam Rosemary 13. So I did this in 20 minutes. You made this modern masterpiece in 20 minutes? Somebody hired this person. Anyways, I guess that's it for this uh, Sam Roast Me 13. And as always, don't take anything I say in this video too seriously. We just do this for the entertainment of the people. Anyways, it's good to be back. I'll show you guys a little bit more of this studio, this new space, uh, maybe, maybe next week. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for that. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys. Keep uh, drawing, uh, enjoy yourselves, uh, have a good time, stay healthy, stay strong, uh, be... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, see, see you. Okay guys, so now that all the fake fans are gone, this is, uh, this is my child, this is Burb. Uh, beautiful. We're gonna make a bunch of these uh, Burb plushies and this is gonna be my first official merch. If you guys are interested in picking up one of these guys, stay tuned on my Instagram and on my YouTube uh, for more updates. We are getting them shipped to the warehouse right now and uh, they should be up for sale. I don't know, sometime soon. So stay tuned for that if you want to adopt a little burp. Anyways, that's it for this video.